Alright, so this is going to be a super quick video. I just want to show you how to take textures from Substance Painter and merge them in Photoshop. So sometimes you might have something like this. So you've made one whole model. Uh, it's one whole thing. It's all got... Um, all its UVs are on the same UV sheet, right? In the same UV area. Um, but when you sent it to Substance Painter, you split it up. So you can see here, I've got a blue group and a pink group. And if I select this whole object and I send it to Substance Painter, it's going to be two separate um, pieces. So I'm going to be making textures for the blue pieces and separately I'm going to be making textures for the pink pieces. Still in the same project, but they're going to be separate pieces. And when I finish making my textures and I export them, they're going to give me two sets of files. So if you see here, if I go to the correct folder, let's go texturing, combining textures for Unreal. So if you see here, I have abdomen, abdomen base color, abdomen, abdomen emissive, abdomen, abdomen normal, and then I have abdomen lower straps base color, abdomen lower straps normal. So <clears throat> when I was making the te these textures, I had something very similar to this. So I had um, something that was one color and something that was another color, and it gave me two sets of, of base color. Um, it gave me two sets of normal maps. It gave me two sets of uh, roughness maps. So it gave me two sets of everything. That's fine, but my whole object shares the same UV sheet. And when I go to Photoshop, if I put in one of these, so let's say I put in this base color, you can see there's bits missing. And if I put in the other base color, you can see these bits actually fit in to where the area was missing. So this is, this is a problem because when you go to Unreal, you want these two to be together. Um, and if you split this up into lots of pieces, let's say you had like four different colors or five different colors, then suddenly you're gonna have lots and lots of files here. So I wanna show you a really easy way to just put these files together. Um, there might be some issues we run in as we go through, but that'll be fine, then you'll see what the issues are. All right, so let's get started. Let's say I finished my textures and I now want to go to Photoshop. So I'm going to make a new folder, uh, a new file that's going to be the size of my texture, so 2048 by 2048. Uh, there we go. And this is fine, this is fine, just create. And we're gonna make the background black, like this. So, what are we gonna do now? So, now we're going to put in our textures. So, we're gonna just select all of them. It doesn't matter if you have three or four or, or um, or, um, uh, seven like I have here or if you have 20 just throw them all in there and then just press enter and if you have a lot you can just hold the enter button and it's gonna do this a lot and then you can let go and now it's going to have put all of your texture all of your uh, textures all of your different files in here in order right so you have abdomen low metallic admin low normal abdomen low base color then you have abdomen metallic abdomen normal and abdomen base color right so it has every section and then it has uh, your ORM or so this map let's just call it let's just call it metallic for now since that's what we can see here so you have your metallic your normal your base color metallic normal base color metallic normal base color all the time so what I do is I go from the top to the bottom and I click all of the ones that are the metallic and I group them click all the ones that are normal and I group them and then I click all the ones that are base color and I group them and I'll just put the emissive separately so this is our emissive, this is our base color this is our normal and this is our ORM map and I'm gonna explain what the ORM is for those that don't know in a little bit and then we're gonna make all these visible uh, we're gonna select them all right click and we're going to rasterize the layers all right, and then I'm going to make these two invisible because I don't need to see them right now. And I'm just going to select the abdomen. And I'm going to select the one at the top or if you have um, 
if you have many I'm still gonna select the one at the top and I'm gonna go down doing uh, what I'm about to show but I'm gonna leave the last one I want the last one to stay there uh, without any changes so let's go to this one and then I'm going to go to the magic wand and I'm going to turn the tolerance down to zero and I'm gonna take off anti-aliasing I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm just going to click and it's gonna select everything except um, my colors now the only time that this is going to give you a problem is if you have any colors that are a hundred percent black so if you have something that is completely black it will get selected because your background is completely black so if you have any colors that are completely black they'll get selected you can see here it didn't select it because this isn't completely black so if I select the eyedropper tool I select this it's completely black if I select this it's a slightly different color and this is why when you grab your magic wand you want your tolerance on zero alright so we've selected the background yay so what alright just press delete bam and now the background's gone and everything that's below is now visible so you can see we had our one below that we're not going to change and now they're on top of each other right um, so if I had more textures in between the top one and the bottom one I would then go through each one doing the same thing and getting rid of the background and leave the last one visible and the last one will stay there and create the background as well but we're not finished yet because we have all of these maps at the top if we try the same technique with these maps it's not gonna work so before I do anything else all I've done is press delete so we were here I press delete and now I'm not gonna click anything on here I'm not clicking anything I'm going all the way back here to the abdomen as uh, normal admin low normal so let's pull this out to the side so you can see abdomen lower normal so we just deleted abdomen lower base color we go to normal and you just press delete again and it's invisible so you're not gonna see anything but you can see here that it's deleted the background for this and we'll do it for the next one it's gonna do the exact same thing so it's this is a really nice way to really quickly make it so that all your maps all your different types of textures are gonna be on top of each other and they're gonna be combined so now we can just get rid of this because we've done it for all of them and like I said if we had more then I just go here I'll do the same thing and I'll delete and I'll go up here and delete it for the next one and delete it for the next one I'm not gonna do that because uh, we only have two Let's get rid of you get, get out of here and you as well so all we need to do now is I can I can show you the normals work and the ORM works as well um, and we can make our let's hide the normal so now we can file uh, save as uh, we can go Targa and we can call this um, abdomen um, <laughs> uh, base color uh, base abdomen merged base color and we would save that and we would then save this as abdomen merged normal and we'll save this as, as abdomen merged ORM and then at the end we can also just save as our Photoshop file as abdomen merged textures right so this is it this is the whole thing um, so if you have an object um, in Maya that has like 10 different colors but they're all gonna be on the same UV sheet um, same thing it's the same thing you just grab all the files that Substance Painter is going to give you so if this gave me free for one if you had 10 different colors it's going to give you 30 that's fine you grab all 30 you throw them in here you put them in groups so you click them in order from top to bottom so all the ORMs in order all the normal maps in order and you group them all and then you just go through your base colors and you get rid of the top ones background and then you get rid of the normal and the ORM ones for the one in the first position as well you go to the second position you get rid of the background you get rid of the background for the second position normal and ORM as well and you go the way down until you've done all 30 that's it that's all you have to do um, that's it 
Okay, great. <laughs> um, this is this part done. I just want to tell you quickly before I finish what the ORM map actually does. So if we go to channels, all Im digital images um, are made of different channels. And this one uses RGB, so most of them use RGB. If you go to your image and mode, these are all the different types of images you can make. Um, so most digital images use RGB. And that's made of a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. So your, your ORM map, that's O-R-M, uh, means that your red channel is your O, which is ambient occlusion. Your green channel is your R, which is your roughness. And your blue channel is your M, which is metallic. Um, so if we grab a drawing thingy, so this is your O, R, M, R, G, B, O, R, M. And that's how you can remember them. Because when you go into Unreal Engine, you're going to have a little thing that has your R, G, B. And then it's going to have R, G, B. This is going to be your texture. And then uh, on the other side of Unreal, you're gonna have a little um, a little box that's going to say your material texture, and this is going to say your um, ambient occlusion. Then you're gonna have your metallic. and your roughness. And usually with a texture you take the RGB and you put it into base color. But because this is an ORM map, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your red, um, which is your O, so this is your O, your R, and your M. Right, so you're gonna take R, which is your ambient occlusion, your O, it's gonna go like this. And you're gonna take your green, which is your roughness, roughness and that's going to go into your roughness and then you're going to take your metallic which is your blue and that's going to go into metallic and this is what's going to happen in Unreal Engine and that is why we're using an ORM map to store these black and white maps uh, so that it's a little more efficient alright so that was the last confusing part for the end uh, thanks for watching hope there was something useful